Um, so, as Sean told you, uh, today I will give you a presentation on what SUS does with regards to the coordination of regional working groups. And I'm not alone behind that gigantic work that is being done by SUS. And unfortunately, I cannot highlight everyone here, but merely uh, my close colleagues with whom we take care of or, or have taken care of the uh, regional working group consortium. So, Sean Henley. Marcus Janut, Alice Hancock, and Denise Newman. Slide. Okay, so first you should know that SUS has established five regional working groups over the last 10 years. The Wapsai Group for the West Antarctic Peninsula and the Scotia Sea, the Weddell Sea and Golden Moodland Group, the Southern Ocean Indian Sector, the Ross Sea Group, and the Edmundsen Sea Group. The regional working groups are led by two rotating co-chairs and are also composed of the leadership group of 10 members that represent various nations, gender, and career stage. Each regional working group draws a very large community, which usually meets at the international workshops that the regional working groups organize. And the regional working groups also communicate regularly with their community in Riga frequent newsletters. The main objective of these regional working groups is to coordinate and implement the observing system in their region of interest. Since they have developed under the SUS umbrella, the regional working groups have acted as important drivers to engage the international scientific community. To give you a few numbers, the regional working groups currently attract 266 members who are almost equally distributed uh, among the five regional working groups. And as you can see on this map, all the major countries with an interest in the Southern Ocean are engaged in one or more regional working groups. In addition, it is important to note down that the regional working groups have given their chances to early career scientists to join their leadership group. And this has been the case for eight of them already. And we even have one very nice story where Juan Offer from Chile was um, first nominated as uh, early career scientist representative for the website group. He's now chairing uh, one of the two co-chairs of this uh, group with Oscar Scorpio. So um, as you can see, the, the SUS regional working groups can also help in the career development of young researchers. The regional working groups have already organized several international workshops with far reaching benefits for the Southern Ocean community. Here's a, a short list of the first workshops that, had, that were organized by the five regional working groups, but some of these groups have already organized the second workshop. And these workshops have proven very useful for several things. First, they are a very good arena where the community is gathered around common scientific interest for a particular region. Then, at the workshop, the community can also draw the objectives of the regional working groups and design, in part, the, the functioning of the group. And the workshops can also be used to enhance the scientific outputs of the group by designing special issues in scientific journals where researchers can publish on a common topic or region. The SUS regional working groups have already contributed with three special issues in prestigious journals. So this was the case for the Amundsen C special issue in UC Research in 2016. This was also the case for the West Antarctic Peninsula group who opened a special issue in the philosophical transaction of the role of society in 2018. And currently, the Weddell Sea and Joint Modeling Group is already open a special issue in biogeoscience, the cryosphere, and ocean science. And the WAPSA uh, group has already opened a second spe special issue, uh, which is on polar technologies, uh, and is open, is going to open in the Marine Technology Society Journal. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, the, the regional working groups have been particularly proficient in the scientific literature as well. At their initial workshops, the regional working groups have discussed the division of their regions in, of interest into uh, sub-regions. And these sub-regions sub are very useful. They are mainly being used to develop and map 
several different things. The, one of the first thing is the stakeholder requirements and priorities for each of these subregions. They uh, are also used to map the regional importance of key environmental drivers, again, in each of these subregions, as well as the observational requirements to monitor those drivers. And uh, we can also use these subregions to uh, map the current observational gaps and the challenges for each of these subregions. And finally, they can be used to develop a logistic collaboration between the nations which are active in the region. So they are a very helpful tool. And uh, the last point I would like to make about the regional working groups is that these uh, groups and the SUS community in general are very active with their stakeholders. If we take the example of the Camelar, the development of the regional working groups in SUS can be very beneficial to Camelar. Indeed, the, the main objectives of the regional working groups, which is to develop and implement the observing system in their region and to gather all the data layers into SUSMAP, is very much aligned with the CAMELAR objectives and can support the design and implementation of marine protected areas by CAMELAR. And this is already the case in the Ross Sea, where the implementation of the Ross Sea MPA could soon be supported by the, the SUS regional working group for the Ross Sea. So I'm finished with my presentation about SUS regional working groups, and I would like to take this opportunity here to thank all the SUS people for the opportunity to be active in this very nice and productive scientific environment. So happy birthday, SUS. And I also want to thank particularly, of course, Luis, as you were the first one to bring me in SUS. You've been extremely supportive and encouraging, and uh, you have been driving SUS very nicely, so we will miss you. Thank you.